Joe and I are from similar towns. He's from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm from Janesville, Wisconsin. You know what the unemployment rate in Scranton is today? I sure do. It's 10%. Yeah. You know what it was the day you guys came in? 8.5%. Yeah. That's how it's going all around America. Look, you don't read the statistics. Look, that's not how it's going. It's going this down. This is two-minute answer, L Look. <laughs> Did they come in and inherit a tough situation? Absolutely. <laughs> but we're going in the wrong direction. Look at where we are. The economy is barely limping along. It's growing at 1.3%. That's slower than it grew last year, and last year was slower than the year before. Job growth in September was slower than it was in August, and August was slower than it was in July. We're heading in the wrong direction. 23 million Americans are struggling for work today. 15% of Americans are living in poverty today. This is not what a real recovery looks like. We need real reforms for a real recovery, and that's exactly what Mitt Romney and I are proposing. It's a five-point plan. Get America energy independent in North America by the end of the decade. Help people who are hurting get the skills they need to get the jobs they want. Get this deficit and debt under control to prevent a debt crisis. Make trade work for America so we can make more things in America and sell them overseas and champion small businesses. Don't raise taxes on small businesses because there are job creators. He talks about Detroit. Mitt Romney's a car guy. They keep misquoting him, but he, let me tell you about the Mitt Romney I know. This is a guy who I was talking to, a family in Northboro, Massachusetts the other day, Cheryl and Mark Nixon. Their kids were hit in a car crash Four of them, two of them, Rob and Reed, were paralyzed. The Romneys didn't know them. They went to the same church they never met before. Mitt asked if he could come over at Christmas. He brought his boys, his wife, and gifts. Later on, he said, I know you're struggling, Mark. Don't worry about their college. I'll pay for it. When Mark told me this story, because you know what? Mitt Romney doesn't tell these stories. The Nixons told this story. When he told me this story, he said it wasn't the help, the cash help. It's that he gave his time. And he has consistently. This is a man who gave 30% of his income to charity, more than the two of us combined. Mitt Romney's a good man. He cares about 100% of Americans in this country. And with respect to that quote, I think the vice president very well knows that sometimes the words don't come out of your mouth the right way. <laughs> well, I always say what I mean. <laughs> and we so want does Romney. everybody to succeed. We want to get people out of poverty, in the middle class, under a life of self-sufficiency. We believe in opportunity and upward mobility. That's what we're going to push for in a Romney administration. Vice President, Love. I have a feeling you have a few things to say here. <laughs>